wonderful a song a sister she's like a singer she's also a writer she's also a performer you know she does so many things as well you know sisters how are you i'm great i'm it's good to be here it's good to have you here yeah. you know like last week we were talking with my boy brand i was like yo brand like no tell needs to come to you know and, and she's here right now you know and inside of here like you know i want more goosebumps eh? <laughs> goosebumps of excitement <laughs> <laughs> now sisters you were actually born out there in Mafike you know mm-hmm. same town that actually bred the likes of WHP and of course uh, KB you know mm-hmm. like there's so much talent in that place so how was growing up in Mafike basically uh i mean i was so young i mean uh-huh. when i was born we were living on a farm uh-huh you know so i'm actually originally a farm girl okay okay um but when i started going to preschool and primary school that's when life became a little bit more interesting yeah, yeah. i attended a preschool called mabana okay which even jaba will tell you about could anyone who's from mafike yeah. knows about mabana uh-huh. most of us went there most of us studied whether music or ballet or played the violin yeah, yeah. some form of art uh we experienced there and I, i had a lot of fun i think that's when i started feeling like this artsy person you know, is I'm coming person. to life yes <laughs> you know so yeah. it was it was a lot of fun i yeah. mean i was a, a young carefree child uh-huh. i'm still a young carefree woman but oh, yes yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, okay, okay, but life okay. Life. I, I well, I'm interested in the butts. <laughs> what what happened there? Life happens. What, what? <laughs> life happens. Adulting happens. We must grow up. We have yeah. responsibilities. Heartbreak happens. Ish. Happens. Ish. Heartbreak, ne? <laughs> eh, heartbreak, ne? So now you also fall in the same WhatsApp group of the people that have been hurt in the life, eh? Yeah, I think we're all in that group, eh? <laughs> how, how many times? Eh? Ish. One too many. One too many. <laughs> <laughs> so so clearly you actually have a lot of trust issues right now. Do you? Um I think maybe naturally, yeah. you know when you've been hurt, yeah. you become cautious, you pay attention, yeah. you don't yeah. just jump yeah. in. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm still open, man. I uh-huh. love love. Yeah. I'm a lover of love. Uh-huh. I love human beings. Uh-huh. I love getting to know people. Yeah, so yeah. I'm I don't close myself off. Okay. Anything. Okay, yeah. so if someone is going to be out here, you must You must they must look. Yeah, they must just know their story. Yeah. Hey? They must come with nonsense. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, you also say that you actually attended Mabana and then high school, where did you actually go to? High school, uh first year of high school I was in Clapham High in Pretoria. Uh-huh. Then I came to Joburg. Okay. Moved to Joburg going to Roosevelt High. Oh, okay. So okay, that's, okay. That's so you moved from Mafikeng to Pretoria to Johannesburg. Yes. So you've been in Johannesburg. And for you know what's funny? Uh-huh. A lot of us um artists that come from Mafikeng uh-huh. traveled that route. Oh wow. A lot of us traveled. I mean even Jaba from Mafikeng he attended is it CBC College in Victoria oh, yeah, yeah. and then he moved to Joburg. A lot of us traveled that. Wow. Route. So now like what influenced that transition from like one place to another? You know, like was it your parents like saying okay cool let's like, move from yeah, here to there? Yeah, for me it was it was family because I mean I, I was not in a, a, a stage to to sort of make that decision, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. So it was just family uh-huh. deciding okay we're going to move to Victoria. Uh-huh. Or t- me, them deciding that I am going to then move with Usman Bani. Okay, okay, David, okay. Yeah, you know. yeah. So yeah, that's that. Okay, that's so out of the three places so far that you've mentioned, like mm. uh, Mafike, uh-huh. Pretoria, and Johannesburg, uh-huh. which is that one place that you're like, you know what? I actually love it here. You know, you love it there. Um, I mean, I I've been living in Jersey the longest. Okay. So I would really say that I love it in Jersey. Yeah. I think I've. found your feet my i found my feet uh-huh. here um and i mean living in pretoria and my feeling i was very young okay i okay. was in a different uh-huh. mind state uh-huh. and now because i'm i'm more aware of myself yeah. i know who i am yeah. i know what i yeah. want i'm able to make those decisions mm-hmm. i can safely say that mm-hmm. i'm happy you're happy in joburg i mean joburg is not always nice sometimes you need to get away yeah yeah true yeah true yeah true, yeah true but i love it yeah. you love it yeah mm-hmm. okay cool 15 minutes past 10 o'clock central african time we're getting to know sis no 10 out here in the studio so any questions about how for this wonderful sis the lady come to you and of course what's a bus on plus two seven seven nine two five for the before three tonight she also did a song with slicker never track is called that dance to this amazing hey this is not tender me now has when's the night you you know when's the night like 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 What's that? That means God, hey. Okay. God is just doing his thing. Me, I'm just. And he's just showing off with you, eh? That's why I show off now, eh? That's no more than sometimes. <laughs> Come do it, of course. What's up, us? And ask her any questions about her for this wonderful lady out here in the studio. So I can finally get the stresses up. Jive around. This is not here. No, this one. Team up a slick card. The track is called The Dance to This. Amazing jam. Amazing. You know what? 
We just got a WhatsApp text here. This one is coming to you from Tita Aden Lesotho. But then it comes to you and says that, Tabang, I'm listening to the song, dance to that song, uh, dance to this. Uh, the sister can sing. She is awesome, bro. You know, like, you know, it's, people just love you, man. People really, really love you. Uh, Lesotho Aden Soweto just comes to you also. I just want to say shout outs for what you did on Living the Way. I should buy Pro Kid, Senzanina by Hidden Force, and O featuring Kudichana, one of the best the female vocalist to actually come out of oh, South wow. Africa. Thank you, Lucas. Wow. Oh. Nah, no, no, we are Baba. 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 Now, sisters, one thing interesting about you is that uh, you actually performed for Nelson Mandela uh, when you actually is quite a very young young kid, you know, and yes. you actually appointed the choir leader yes. at that time, you know. Yes. So you could sing like when you were very, very, very young. Yeah, I've, I've been like, you know, when I was very young, I didn't, I didn't quite. Um, I, I enjoyed listening to music, but yeah. I didn't quite connect it to me okay, okay. as a singer. Yeah. But when I got to uh, primary school, I had we had music as part of our yeah. syllabus. So yeah. The music teachers literally just pulled and pulled and pulled. They said, "Listen, we're now you can you see are coming yeah. to the choir. Yeah. We are not asking you. Yeah. We are telling yeah. you we're gonna give you a solo. <laughs> you're gonna sing. You're gonna sing with feeling. Go, yeah. just do it. You know." So they really made me aware. Yeah. Of my talent They helped me I mean They really really Were drawn to me After uh-huh. school They said Come Do you write any songs yeah. Come we'll help you compose wow. We'll t- teach you How to play yeah, the guitar yeah, Whatever yeah. you want yeah. We'll just Everything help you just here. This yeah. talent You know So yeah um, Performing for Mandela I was in well, The last year Of primary school Primary grade, school yeah. I don't know Okay you don't even something. remember <laughs> um, And we had to audition Because uh-huh. they chose Children from each Whatever schools Were participating yeah, yeah. And I was the only one Chosen from my school <laughs> To be part of uh, the, the production Oh wow It was a State theatre production yeah, Actually yeah. And we sang Opera You sang opera Listen What <laughs> 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 I was initially I was so traumatized because yeah. I was used to singing, you know, quiet yeah, 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 music. Yeah, yeah. And then we get the <laughs> I was like, what? But I did it. Oh yeah? And it was fun. Wow. It was a lot so, of fun. So, so then now since you actually did opera, you know, like mm-hmm. didn't you at some stage in your life think about okay, cool, maybe I could actually gravitate towards singing opera? Uh, not really, but it's definitely something that I can incorporate okay, okay. into performances uh-huh, or uh-huh. anything that I do. I wouldn't mind doing it at some stage, yeah. but not as a full-on career. Okay, I, I yeah. You wouldn't just focus just there, you know? Oh, that thing is... It's, it's, <laughs> listen, it's hectic. Just five minutes of an opera song. <laughs> like working out for 30 oh, yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> And now I also want to take you back to 2002, you know. Mm. Now you decided to you know what? Now uh, let me just go join adults, you know. Uh, and then uh, 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 <laughs> you were there. <laughs> yeah. How was the experience, my sister? It was very interesting. Okay. Very, very interesting. Um, obviously I'm excited because mm. it's a singing competition. Yeah. You wanna try your luck. Yeah. Um, but everything just went sideways. It kept going sideways, okay. kept going sideways. Uh-huh. I made it to the top hundred. Yeah. That's when we all go to Gold Reef City yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, We're given songs to rehearse uh-huh, uh-huh. and everything And then I lost my voice What happened? I, I, I don't know <laughs> That's what I'm saying It was so interesting I lost my voice the uh-huh. night before audition Shucks So I'm rehearsing my song And I thought okay Let me at least get familiar with the song So yeah. that I can rest And wake up tomorrow knowing that yeah. I've got nothing Ba-ba. to rehearse yeah. I wake up the next day My voice is still gone I'm keeping quiet I'm doing everything I can Yeah not coming back. Then someone says, "No, have a raw egg. Raw egg helps." Yeah. yeah. I was desperate, so I did the raw egg thing, and it worked. My voice came back after about ten minutes. Yeah. But then after about twenty minutes, it went yeah. away. Oh wow! And we had to wait. We waited like for about five hours before oh, yeah. we auditioned. But so by the time I auditioned, yeah, my voice was gone again. Shucks. And then it was um that part of the audition where you're standing in line and you each sing yeah, yeah. and then they bring you back and say okay come to the front come to the front <laughs> everyone at the back goes home after we auditioned uh-huh. we went out of there and I said to one of the guys I was like hmm, guys what if I'm the only one that's gonna go home oh, yeah? because my voice they were like no man no yeah. Guess what? You I was the only one in my group that went home. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, wow. It, it, yeah it wasn't meant to be. It uh-huh. wasn't meant to be. It I'm wasn't actually, meant to be. I'm actually glad I didn't, I didn't go all the way. Okay. Why is that, though? I think 
I am so stubborn in my creativity. Okay. I am so um I don't want to say self-centered. Okay. But I'm I'm very much aware of who I am as an artist, yeah, what yeah, I want. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like um the space of idols is is better suited for someone who's still trying to find oh, themselves. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they can okay. be groomed and, you know. So I'm glad I, I didn't go there because I probably wouldn't, I would have had a lot of issues with a lot of things. With a lot of things. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you stubborn? <laughs> very stubborn, hey? And I, like, I become more stubborn over time. I'm very, very stubborn. I the thing is, I really believe in myself. Okay, I really, I yeah. believe in in my gift and my talent. I don't take it for granted. Sure. I believe that God gave me this for a reason. Yeah, yeah. And if I just dismiss it, like, ah, no, it's fine. Let me just listen to what these guys yeah, say yeah. and just put this under the rug. Yeah, yeah. Then it means I'm dismissing God. I'm okay. basically saying, I couldn't do now. You know. Yeah. So I have to. I have to stand my ground. Wow. I have to. Well, and uh, and uh, there's also another interesting part about you is that uh-huh. uh, you we were first introduced to you back in 2003. You know, yes. uh, that's when I started realizing, like, yeah, man, no <laughs> ten is actually out yet. <laughs> you did a theme song for Ikazlam, you know, yes, uh, which is that very same song that actually features a Kuli Chan. Mm-hmm. You know, like how did that collaboration even come about? Like get at that time. It was so interesting. Mm-hmm. So it started off with a with me calling into a radio station yep. to enter a competition okay. again, a singing competition. Okay. Like guys, we're giving away tickets or something. Uh-huh. Call in. Thing. Yeah, I was like right up my alley. I called mm. in, I sang. Then they said, "Hold the line. Uh-huh. We're gonna put you through to Lance. Yeah, uh, get her up. Get her up. Yeah." So Lance then said, "Look, we're having auditions for Gazlam, uh-huh. acting auditions, and one of the characters is a singer. Yeah, so come in and audition for that role. Yeah, I went there that day. I mean, I didn't even know what I was doing because I wanted to sing. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. The and that was the acting bad. Yeah, but I went there anyway. Uh-huh. I got there and. All the other ladies that were supposed to arrive didn't arrive. Okay. So I was the only one. Wow. And then they then postponed the audition because uh-huh. they said, okay, it's pointless to just have one person audition. Yeah. We need to have a whole bunch. Uh-huh. But when I was there, I met a guy called Andy Gladdy. Okay. And he was like, oh my God, you're the one that was singing on the radio. Yeah. So talented. I'm going to make you famous. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was just going on and on and on. Just excited. Yeah, yeah. A few weeks or months later, same Andy is mm-hmm. just chilling in studio with KB. Okay. Uh, the producer, okay. the guy who produced Zola's first album. Oh wow! Right? Oh yeah, yes. yeah. Sitting in studio with KB, KB is producing the song. He's mm-hmm. busy working on this beat. And yeah. Like, Man, I wish I could find a nice vocalist. Yeah. And he was like, I know just the person. <laughs> they called me immediately. Immediately. Listen, where are you? Yeah. I'm at home. Okay, I'm coming to pick you up uh, now. Yeah, KB wants to meet you now. You're yeah, man. gonna record now. Yeah, man. I got to studio. I auditioned for uh-huh. KB. And then he played me the beat and he said, okay, let's see what you can do. Yeah. And that's basically where the song... Wow. And the rest is history, yep. I guess. The rest is wow. history. And <laughs> Kuli Chana's part, I, he told, KB told me that he's going to find a rapper to okay. sing on. Yep. I didn't know who he was going to find. I had no idea. I first heard the song on radio. Uh-huh. I didn't know who it was. I was like, is this WHP? Is this? I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, you weren't sure. I think I met Kuli probably two, three months after the song came out. Wow. At a get her off launch backstage. Like, oh, wow. You're not tender, yeah. you're cool. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice song. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's funny how you guys are complimenting right? each other about the very same song. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyway, tell us exactly 29 minutes past 10, uh, 10 o'clock Central African time Plus 27 or 7925 for Any questions you might have for this wonderful lady out here in the studio Please come through and of course I'll talk to us Hashtag Morning Mayhem, Mayhem. <laughs> Beautiful music right here on Tier Radio Dot Moby Not Ten. They're featuring Kuli Chan on this one. The track is called Ooh. Now a lot of people actually seem to actually kind of get this wrong. Is it like Ooh or Oh? Right? <laughs> ooh, I know what I want, and you know what you came for. Aish. Ooh. Aish, sisters. I am your number one. Say you. Hey, sisters. Aye, man. Aye, man. Ah, when I got cool sisters. Aye. Now, you're actually talking, talking about the song right here. And uh, later, um, in uh, 2003, the song was like a soundtrack for Kazlami. Yeah. And then, uh, fast forward to, like, a uh, song was actually produced, was one of uh, 
uh, like you said, oh KB Zola's yes. uh, thing above, you know. But then, like, how is it being like being in the same space as people who are influencing the industry? Because now, at that time, you are young, you are very ambitious, you know, and here you are getting this big opportunity to actually sing for Eka's Lamb, you know. At that time, how were you feeling? I don't think I was really grasping the the magnitude yeah. of the situation. Uh-huh. I was just very happy to be in a space where I'm able to create, I'm yeah. able to sing, I'm yeah. able to perform, uh-huh. I'm meeting other artists and producers, we're working on music. Yeah. I wasn't looking at, oh my God, it's Kazlam, oh my God, it's KB. Yeah. Yeah. It's I wasn't Lance. looking yeah, at yeah, yeah, any yeah, of that, yeah. you know, I wasn't really grasping the matter. And I, I'm grateful for that because uh-huh. maybe I would have turned out different yeah. if I was focused on that, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Now, was there ever a time in your life whereby you felt like, you know what, now? I've made it in life. I've never felt like I've made it in life, but uh-huh. there have been times where I, I've been so frustrated. Okay. I felt like I'm done. <laughs> like, I can't do this anymore. But that feeling lasts like one day. Okay. And then you wake up, you're like, uh-huh. okay, maybe I'm not done. <laughs> maybe, yeah, you know? <laughs> now, then we fast forward to 2004, you know? Mm-hmm. You were getting another song. Um, before it's Kupu Sang and Bella, you know? Yes. And you met the likes of uh, Levo Matosa and Brenda Faso also know my there. You know? Entire history. <laughs> I'm out here, like I'm studying. <laughs> I'm studying. <laughs> I'm studying, you know, so I have to know about you. So, like, like being in a compilation like that, mm-hmm. sisters, like, you know, like you're moving up the ranks now, you know? It was so much fun. Uh-huh. Um, we went on a tour. Uh-huh. Uh, Glenn Lewis approached me and he said, Look, I'd like you to do a house song, yeah. my project. He's more than happy to do it. And then we went on a tour. Yeah. Just females. It was so much fun. It was, it was, I, I was such a, I still am such a huge fan of Lebo Matosa's yeah. music. Yeah. Her, yeah. Just everything that she was, you know. So I w- would just be happy to be so close to her yeah. and watch her perform. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Are we making you're making it in life eh? <laughs> And then just finding out that she's a fan of, oh, wow. of my music oh, wow. and what I do. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was wow. so much fun. The ladies were amazing. Shazi Zanini was part of that. Uh-huh. Um Maduba. Yeah. I don't know if you remember Maduba. I I, I she used know. to act in Mubango. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. She was part of that. Uh-huh. It was, it was a, a great, great experience. Wow, yeah. man. I can only just imagine being surrounded by, like, the greats, if you may put it that way, you right? know? Wow. Very, very interesting. And then, now we fast forward, ne? And then, you guys had a hip-hop group. Mm-hmm. The Playoffs, right? Yes. Uh, and then, you were then <laughs> chosen to be, like, the U.S. ambassadors for... U.S. Embassy actually chose mm-hmm. you to be the ambassadors for HIV and AIDS, yes. you know? Like, like... Things were just moving up and up and up and up and up and up. Now, I just want to find out, like, how did the playoffs even start that? The playoffs, we met before I even recorded U. Okay. Before I even met KB. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't even remember how I met those guys. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a studio called uh, Orlando West. Okay. I used to record at. Yeah, just, yeah. You know, meet and try and make music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we decided to... Oh no, there was a label that was was looking for artists. Okay. And we went there to try and, you know... Try your get, luck. Get Jason. ahead, try yeah. your luck. And then we decided... That's when we decided to create a group. Uh-huh. Five of us, myself, Mugs. There was young Marcus who's passed on. Yeah. And then there was TD and Tabi who are brother. And so Mugs. Did you say Mugs? Yes. Maggie Mugs? Yeah. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow. And we, we actually recorded we recorded a full album. Obviously uh-huh. it was never released uh-huh. because we had issues with the label if it had oh, yeah, yeah. But it was such a beautiful album. Yeah. It was such a beautiful album. So then what happened to the album like we we couldn't release it. Uh, oh yeah. You know, it, we were just not able to release it because of the dispute that we mm-hmm, had mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with the label. But then after that we were then approached by the US Embassy uh-huh. and then we recorded a small uh, EP yeah. for that project for the HIV AIDS campaign yeah. um, and it wasn't so much yes it was centered around HIV and AIDS yeah. but what we were doing was going around schools and just motivating motivating young kids to 
take care of themselves yeah yeah, yeah. mind body yeah. spirit yeah. you know yeah. it was a beautiful beautiful experience wow like mm. no tender you've been out here in this industry for a very <laughs> very very long time you know what and i mean i'm gonna be here for a bit yeah you should like i mean your music and your voice like come on like, i get go i was <laughs> good ninja Otherwise, uh, go straight to the WhatsApp line. We have a surprise out there in Limpopo. Uh, but then it comes to you and says that shout out to Notenda for uh, for being humbled. Her voice, though, she has uh, the voice. Major shout out to her, man. Wow. Uh, people are just Thank loving you. your voice. That's it. I appreciate it. Uh, people are just really loving do. your voice. People are just loving your voice. And Togos also comes to and he actually sent us a voice note and this is what he had to say. What's up, Morning Mayhem team? A huge shout out to Notenda for coming through, man. It's been, yeah, it's been a while. Um, we grew up listening to her, so it's also amazing to to finally hear her voice again um the question is what does she think about the current status of females that sing in english i, I hope she understands what i'm talking about but it seems like back in the days we had a problem about females that were singing english especially if they weren't associated to hip-hop but we're seeing more and more of the likes of shakina the likes of manala and all these young ladies that are breaking out with the english um as their medium of singing i want to find out what were the challenges back then if they were any challenges all right also from johannesburg okay very yeah, interesting yeah. question very. i think back then um i didn't feel like there were any challenges uh-huh. um i don't know i always try to incorporate just my natural environment yeah. into what i did mm-hmm. so there was always a little bit of zulu here a little bit of even if it wasn't necessarily in the 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 language it was in the music okay. in, in okay. whatever form yeah. but obviously over time mm-hmm. the the african identity has become so important true, true. that i can imagine that it's a little bit more challenging for artists now especially young artists yeah, yeah. to try and push a full english album <laughs> in south africa sure, you know definitely. and i think i mean if to be to be fair one has to be wise yeah. and accommodate everybody you can't just dismiss yeah your people true, and say nizong mamela whether and to like english or not, not sure. you know uh-huh. sure it is important i mean there's some people who want to reach the world yeah and english is the medium, the medium that everybody yeah. speaks so you uh-huh. can understand the need to to have english yeah. but if you are in south africa uh-huh. i think it's important to to do your best to try and accommodate that. and the truth is when we when the mics are off when we're chilling at home or wherever and yeah. we speak all these languages True. so why not do it when you get into studio definitely for sure know? man very very interesting now sisters like i'm also interested to actually find out so good see now i deem you as one conscious person you know like uh, i don't know good see you know how you judge a person's consciousness but <laughs> I, i somehow deem you you know uh, and 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 your level of consciousness is is like you know like you don't st- st- stand for any f you know like you know what i mean you know like what influences you to actually be cognizant of your consciousness let me just put it that way i think it's my upbringing uh-huh. i think um I, i grew up with my grandfather and yeah. he instilled a lot of wisdom inside of me yeah. he taught me a lot about people in mm-hmm. the world yeah. um and uh, from that uh, and and also just my experiences growing up mm-hmm. i just felt like it's very very important to be me completely you know yeah. obviously i'm not perfect there's true, been times true, true. where i don't know what's going on true, i don't know true, myself true. but it's become especially now it's become yeah. so important to to really stand strong uh-huh. in who i am because we we're, we're here for a reason true. you know i'm not here to be a pretty face and post pretty pictures of myself on instagram yeah, and yeah. think that that's going to inspire that's, that's people it. because yeah. i'm wearing gucci or yeah, whatever yeah. you know there's so much more to me and i've discovered so much more of myself artistically creatively mm-hmm. what i really want i mean i'm passionate about music education yeah, so i'm yeah. getting into that now mm-hmm. i'm getting mm-hmm. into trying and instilling knowledge uh, to younger artists yeah. trying passing down that knowledge doing vocal coaching all of those yeah. things and that's part of i suppose you could say my consciousness yeah. me just being aware of who i am mm-hmm. my purpose mm-hmm. and making sure that no matter what mm-hmm. i live that purpose oh yeah wow sisters also 
Uh, are you a patriotic African or are you, are you patriotic just yeah, just just in general? You know, I'm I'm a patriotic African. I, I okay. Think, I are, mean, you, are you also pro black as well? You know, I'm pro black uh-huh. definitely. Uh-huh. I'm definitely pro black, um, but I believe in. I feel like I, I'm one of those that I'm pro black, mm-hmm. but I want. I would like the the black. To be removed Okay, okay, from okay The okay, mindset okay, okay, okay Because sometimes I think We're so focused on being black mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We don't connect to Being more than that Okay Do you okay, know what I'm saying? Okay, okay yeah um, I always say to myself mm-hmm. In my own little head uh-huh. Who were we before we were called black? The shoe Wow <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. I, no, I... <laughs> you know, but but I fully understand the 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 the, the black conscious movement, yeah. the uh-huh. black movement, yeah. the African movement. Yeah. That that progression is very, mm-hmm. very important. I'm definitely for that yeah. because our people have been have been suffering and struggling for way too long. Mm-hmm. Unnecessarily, Unnecess- actually, yeah, true, you know. True. And it's it's time that we, we switch things around. And one of the ways uh, we can do that is by connecting to with self ourselves uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. our so now self. do you actually incorporate this type of knowledge in your music or I do I uh-huh. do um, I, I do my best uh-huh. you know yeah. to incorporate that there's a song I have called Remember Love which I I'm actually like I'm about to play that song <laughs> right now what a coincidence <laughs> wow <laughs> um, yeah that's one of the songs that I deliberately created for people to listen to and for people to connect to so that they can understand that okay listen yeah me as a human being mm-hmm. I am a light of love I yeah. am love and yeah. the next person is that and I need to start seeing and thinking like that so True. that how I relate and how I go about this earth mm-hmm. is from a place of love and not always from a place of fear and uh-huh. anger and hatred and all of those things wow amazing amazing yes sisters I'm going to upload one hour for the next two hours yes <laughs> <laughs> How young VTs? How young VTs are going to 45 minutes past 10 o'clock Central African time. This is the Wednesday edition of Hashtag Morning Mayhem. We have a woman crush Wednesday for today and she goes by the name of Sis Nintendo. Plus 27 at 7925 at 44329. Remember, you are created in the light of love. That's the freedom of your life. Don't you forget it when the world around tries to chain you to your strife. Show you nothing but fear just so your light can disappear. Sure. Disappear, fade to black. They try to keep hearts quiet but they'll never do that. Why? Because we are the light. We are the love that's worth our fight. Yeah. Regardless of all these broken minds and mirrors, we are brave hearts and we're healers. Steady moving forward, chasing dreams because the dreams they keep us growing. Thank so while you get in the wars and you get in applause, make sure you're not forgetting the cause. Oh. My goodness! Whoa, whoa! What just happened? Whoa, 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 whoa! This is no tender. Whoa, whoa! This is no tender. This is no tender. That thing is a halal. Never do that. This is no tender. Hello. Hi, hello, Mujali. Mujali, stars. Well, I'm going to do it. Yeah. This is you. Mm, sometimes. Manda. <laughs> yeah, Manda. Wow! What? Well, you just told me right now that you could rap, okay. but hey, like I wasn't ready for that. You know, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I was like, wow! And yeah. really took me off guard. Sisters, no, I you know we are ready for a hip hop song. Now nah, we, nah. we are ready. We are ready. It's coming. Now nah, we are ready. Now, nah, sister, okay, cool. Now, like, speaking about rapping, like mm-hmm. when did this passion of rapping actually even start? I mean, the first song I ever wrote had a rap verse. Uh-huh. You know, so it's always been there. Yeah. Even if it wasn't there in every song, but yeah, it's always yeah. been there. When I was recording Nabo Amu and uh-huh. Salvin, we'd always just mess around yeah. and they'd be like, okay, babes, come, come, rap, yeah, rap, yeah, rap, yeah, rap, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'd write and then record, and then I would be like, okay, so I'm okay, all right, I, okay, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, man, and, and they encouraged me because they really believe in my rap skills. Yeah, you yeah, know, Amu yeah. would sit me down and say, babes, you know, you must really think about this thing, like this, 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 this female rappers. Uh-huh. Thing, but you, babes, yeah. you, babes, you, you can take them out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 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 nice to know that people who are in that space yeah, yeah. and really good at it, yeah, feel like you I can have, also do it as well. You know, you know, like even do a better job. Exactly. You know. So now, okay, cool. Looking at the 
hip hop industry out uh-huh. here in South Africa uh-huh. right now, you know. And seeing that you're also like a hip hop kind of yep. sort of yep. connoisseur, you know, yep. put it that way, you know. Like, how do you feel about the space that hip hop is actually at right now? You know, I think it has grown immensely in uh-huh. terms of the hip hop market. Yeah, right. It's mm-hmm. like it's so big right now. Yeah, it it's a money making machine right now. True. You know, True. it's yeah. great and artists are just doing the most yep. they really they're churning out those songs they're churning out those videos they're really pushing and pushing yep. what I worry about is content Okay. I feel like um, there's a lot I mean it's not every hip hop artist yep. but majority I suppose uh-huh. I feel like they don't really write their truths okay. you know I okay. feel like they're so concerned about bragging it's yeah. always about okay I, I'm this and yeah yeah uh, when I come through uh, I shut it down yeah. you don't know me yeah, hey. yeah, yeah. or it's about the lifestyle uh-huh. you know the, the partying the cars yeah. the money the, money, the, this, the and, chains blah, you know blah, blah, blah. Yeah. and th- that's part of it that's fine I'm not saying that that shouldn't exist uh-huh. but I just worry that there is no human element okay okay in the music okay okay, okay. you know I get you because Life is not always pretty. Uh-huh. Life is not always. Not everyone has money. Not everyone's driving cars. Even the people that do have the money in their cars, they didn't always have them. Yeah. You know, life is is not always easy. And I'd like to hear about those, those moments. Things. Yeah. You know, yeah. especially from the women. I feel like the women should really be yeah. telling us about what it is like to be a woman in the hip hop. Scene, yeah. in the music industry uh-huh, uh-huh. in South Africa yeah, in yeah. Africa yeah. I want to hear that I don't want to hear about your weave <laughs> and you know who you're rolling with and yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. We don't it's care cool about that. but yeah. like tell me more uh-huh. who are you what do you like what what hurts you what excites you yeah. you know so yeah content, content. Wow, so content is like your biggest worry right now it is because we're storytellers uh-huh. you know people listen <laughs> we may take it lightly uh-huh. But people actually listen to the music that we are making. They listen to those lyrics. They take it in yeah. and they embody it and they live it out. True. And you can see how it affects society uh-huh, because uh-huh. society has become this look at me, look at me, yeah, we yeah, out here, yeah, yeah, bottles, like, what, know, what, 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 yeah. what. And I mean, look, everyone makes their own choices. I uh-huh. don't want to say that, you know, musicians are responsible sure, sure, for, sure. for what society does. But we do have a huge, Response huge influence. Okay. Big influence. Wow. Very interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. Sisters, that's in. And it's man. You're like, I understand. We're together a lot. You know? Like, why is this time against us so much? You know? Nyahe tag. You know, because we only have like three minutes left for the show. Sisters, actually, I have so many questions for you. But yeah, let me ask you this one. A very important question for Trans Africa Radio. Now, here as a station, we play only 100% African music, you know? And what are your thoughts on it? actually comes to that that's important that's a good thing because Africa is the biggest continent uh-huh. in the world um, how many musicians are in South Africa alone yeah so many so yes it's important that we have a radio station that plays 100% African music because yeah. we need to know what our musicians are doing we need to know about our artists yeah. and, and what and we need to support them and m- unfortunately most times people won't support you until they've heard you. So true. So you guys are doing a great thing. Wow. Amazing. Sisters, I know I as in you hit the nuts on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. Thank it's you been so much. really, really good. Oh, I wow, really man. appreciate it. Oh, wow. I actually enjoyed this interview like so much. And mind you, like, I'm so sad because like it's kinda sick, man. I'm like, this kind of sense and shall Pranel, my boy, come through, dog. This is say uh, goodbyes, my boy. Uh, just step there on mic uh, five. Yeah. Uh boy. Yeah, no. It's been, it's it's been a good interview, eh? Yeah. I know it's been flowing. Yeah. I've been uh, checking out the social media and yeah, a whole lot of people are surprised. They're saying they want more music. They do. Yes. They do. They do. More music, please. It's coming. It's coming. I've I, I've had a little bit of a rough patch in this past few years. Uh-huh. I've been dealing uh-huh. with a lot. Uh-huh. But the music is there. I've been working on music. Yeah. I've also 
been producing. I'm, uh-huh. I'm getting into oh, yeah? producing music. I'm trying to grow oh, yeah. as a creative. So yeah, people wow. are definitely going to get so more, watch the space more than then. just music. Actually. Watch the space. Cheers, sir. Where can people catch you? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, not tender. No underscore, no the real, no, <laughs> no ten. Yeah, one of my young heads, young heads, man, just the young heads because like man, you the hell is that they're going to be? No, it's fine. Young <laughs> heads. <laughs> Young heads, I'm on you. Well, I'm not is not a common name, so yes. I don't need the yeah. real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, Papa Yiri, everybody, we're going to be back on your radio tomorrow morning right here on tradio.mobi. Otherwise, right now, please uh, keep locked on hashtag lifestyle between 11 and, of course, at 2 p.m. CAT. Papa Yiri, uh, back again tomorrow morning.